at the end of the day, I'm still an addict. I just found a way to shift my focus from negatives into positives. You know, one day on the side of the road, dope sick, waiting on my dealer, I just knew. I was not meant to live this way. This wasn't what my life was supposed to look like. So I created a new one. We ready? All right, my name is James Anderson and I'm about to finish my first Ironman triathlon and summit Mount Kilimanjaro within three weeks of each other this fall. I'm a hybrid athlete, a business owner, a husband, cat dad, and recovering addict with four felony drug charges and countless misdemeanors from a previous life. An Ironman is a 2.4 mile swim followed by a 112 mile bike ride and then a full marathon, 26.2 miles to finish it off in less than 17 hours. I'm a bodybuilder, so endurance is not my game. I'm big and heavy. I've lost like 12 pounds in the process of doing this. Now, Mount Kilimanjaro is Africa's highest peak and the tallest freestanding mountain in the world. It's 19,300 feet, and it will be my second attempt at the summit. My clean date from drugs and alcohol is October 14th, 2013, and starting in 2017, I've chosen a physical and mental task to overcome on my anniversary every year. So, I mean, I've done Spartan races, I've climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, Unsuccessfully, uh, I hiked Trolltunga in Norway. I ran a 50 mile ultra marathon, which I mean, that was no picnic. And last year I did eight hours of burpees on my eighth year clean. So, I mean, that was fun. And this year for my ninth year, I'm going back to Africa. Uh, on October 14th, 2022, I will be summiting Mount Kilimanjaro. Now, for the 2018 climb, I ended up becoming hypoxic with a blood oxygen level of 48, uh, three hours from the summit. I was blue, but it's dark out, so I didn't know. And uh, that was day six of the climb. I was rushed down the mountain by the medical staff and our group. Uh, pretty, pretty crushing, pretty devastating. I've thought about it every day since, though. When we believe something is possible, it becomes possible. Like nine years ago, I was chasing my next high. I was homeless. I had no license. I had no car. I had no money. And I sure as hell had no hope. Today, I'm preparing for an epic race day and a successful summit. Like, I will finish this climb. My message is that there's life after addiction. It can be whatever you make it. Life for anyone can be whatever they make it. People are just too busy limiting their own opportunities by focusing on how hard things are instead of the solutions that they need in order to overcome their struggles. Like, believe in yourself and watch the universe open up its doors. That's gonna be my legacy. The people I inspire to do epic shit along the way. Mm-hmm.